Today's coverage of the Trinity Invitational is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside PGA champion Rich Beam, where in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. Happy to be with you. Pleased to be here at Timber Knoll Golf Club here in North Carolina. This is a uh, fantastic swath of land they've built this course on, and I think it's going to be a day of fun. Let's do this. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Left yourself an opportunity. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Remember, there's two important parts of a putt, line and length. Too much length on that one. Time now for the fourth shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Right on four feet. Should make this one. Good putt, that. Well, that's not the most positive of starts. Getting underway over par. Yeah, well... You're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there will be birdies to come, no doubt about it. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. This one is chewing fiber. Second shot on the second. Ooh. Oh, Rich, how good is that? That's incredible. That'll help make a big move. And it's time to recap that play. And with that, he's back to even overall. Teeing off here at the third hole. That's a bit out of shape. Oh dear, that's on the beach. Good 
Hmm. I might need to get less of a view. That was well played. And here we are with the third shot. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Opting for the 9-iron. Wonderfully played. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. This one's tracking. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Currently one under for the event. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Not a bad line, this one. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Looks to be going with the six iron. Getting ready to play their third. Only two shots off the pace. Big putt for Parr coming up. If it's up, it could be in. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Just two shots back after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That dog will hunt. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Going with the eight iron here. That one's headed left. And here we are with the third shot. Two strokes off the lead. Whew. Wow, that was impressive, particularly out of that line. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Looking good. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Luke, I don't know if you know this or not, but nothing rolls like a ball. He finds himself in a share of eighth. We find ourselves on a par three here.
opting for the five iron. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. Ouch, that hurts. Just three feet to the cup. And well hold. Let's move on. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Going with driver off the tee. shot that one second shot here on the seventh getting ready to play their third winds blowing from left to right they're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down
chosen the pitching wedge here. This one needs to kick left. Better bring their binoculars. Gonna have a hard time seeing the hole from there. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. she goes let's head to the next trailing by four strokes at the eighth It's heading to the rough for mine. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Four strokes off the lead. Oops, this one's headed for the rough. Not bad. Sitting at minus one. Let's make a move. You're just on the fringe of the top ten. Good opportunity coming up. Make this putt and you'll move into the top ten on the leaderboard. What a great stroke. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. And what a way to jump into the top ten. Four back after that hole. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. That is right down the sprinkler line. Going with the seven. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. A fair bit on the line here. Spot the top five. Oh, so close. 
can make this one. It's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. Ooh. Nicely done. Good chip shot. Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. It's on a great line. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. He's currently tied for 12. arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? They are very deep into this rough here, guys. I can't even see the ball from where I'm standing. Look out. <laughs> Opting for the three wood. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. Get in. It was on a good line. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, to be honest, those are the parts you have to make at this level of competition. That was pretty straightforward. And with that now, back to level par. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Four shots behind our leader. Looks like they've got the five wood. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. 
needed to take a little less club on that approach. went in and this one is for his par go in oh what a shame that would have been a nice one to hold like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. I like the look of this. Yeah, just can't seem to get off the bogey train here, Rich. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Yeah, a little slide happening here on the leaderboard. See if he can bounce back. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Well, well played. Going with the five wood. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. He has this putt to save his par.
Yeah, you'll take that. Sitting at one over for the day. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. Yikes! Wow, that's right out of the Gary Player highlight reel. Gets it to go down. Wow, what a save. Good par save there from the greenside bunker. Job well done. Now six strokes back after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. They're needing to make something special happen, and I can't think of a better opportunity than now on this short par four. Well, this is a good risk-reward hole. Looks like they're taking plenty of risk here. Going for the green. Second shot here on the 15th. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. This putt coming up is for birdie. Go on. Get in the hole. That was a gallant attempt. An opportunity to make their par. And the putt drops. Now one over, heading down the stretch. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. off here on the 16th hole that's really not they were looking for oh, this is not a good outcome buried in the deep stuff Going with the five iron here. And here we are with the third shot. Twenty feet to the hole. It. 
just didn't drop her. And this next putt, it's for Bogey. Not a bad line, this. And that'll be a bogey for them on this hole. Justin Thomas is our current leader. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. Seems to have chosen the three wood. And this one might need to get down a little. Nicely done. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Yeah, the line was pretty good, but the length, that was loose. Getting ready to play their third. Wow. Wow, what a save. Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. And it's worth taking another look at that one. And JT is currently our leader. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. That's an awful error. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, this isn't too dramatic here. It is in the sand, but it's, uh, it's sitting up pretty good. They should be able to get a hold of this one. Oh, clever play, that. Just get it back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And this putt for a final score of 71.
Bacon is good. Hunt is underway. That's all she wrote, folks, and his work is done here. Sadly, no back-to-back -back victories here for this player, Rich, but you'd have to be impressed with their performance overall. Luke, unfortunately, not getting the back-to-back -back wins came ever so close, but unfortunately, coming up just a little bit shy, still awfully impressed with this week's work. <coughs> well, so that concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Bean, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. Yikes.